Okay, so we're here at 860 Bank Street here in South Pasadena. Now, there were no mainline cleanouts available, so we're actually running our camera from a 4-inch roof vent. We like to do that anyway because this way we could check as much of the main line under the house as well as outside as possible. We obviously cannot check every pipe in the house, but we'll run our camera from a couple of vents over here. Uh, we highly recommend you obviously have the general inspector crawl underneath the house. He's going to physically look at the plumbing, make sure there's nothing leaking. Remember, we're looking at the inside of the pipe. We cannot see the outside of the pipe. But uh, we've got our camera in, and we're actually all the way out to the city connection in the street. So there's the city sewer right here. There's your connection to your city sewer. So we're going to come back. This looks pretty clean, the line. There's no major problems in it. There's no major breaks, no major dislocations. There's no major roots. This is pretty clean, the line. In my opinion, it looks pretty good so far comes onto the property, changes to a cast iron pipe, and even this looks like it's in pretty fair condition. It's obviously getting a little old, but it looks like it's in pretty fair condition. Minor rust buildup, doesn't look too bad. We always recommend that you never flush tampons, or baby wipes, paper towels, things like that. You may want to consider putting in an end of a line cleaner from underneath the house to the outside. However, the pipe looks pretty good, and uh, it's nice and clean, nice and round. Looks pretty good condition. Of course, the general inspector, of course, if he crawls underneath, sees it leaking, well, then that's a different story, but I doubt that. Looking at the inside really doesn't look too bad at all. Okay, so here it comes up the roof vent. Okay, here we are up on the roof. We're going to pause the recording. Okay, we're running the camera from this two-inch roof vent, like an inch end of a two-inch roof vent, like behind the washing machine area. Um, the lens got a little dirty, but um, there was quite a little bit of paper stuck in the line. So I tell you, we probably would recommend that a clean-out be installed. You can see there, like, the paper over here. I would definitely recommend a cleaner to be installed at the end of the line over here, by this bathroom right at the end. You see, there was a lot of paper in the line there. Right there. Right here. I think what we'll do is uh, let's try to flush it all out, eh, Al? Let me go run a lot of water and we'll try to flush it out. Okay, so we've run a lot of water down the line. We flush pretty much the paper out of the line. And that's why I highly recommend that you have the general inspector to check the plumbing over there to make sure that it's not leaking and stuff. This is you where can, the blockage was. That's where, right on the corner there. It's definitely getting a little rough over here. You see that? So I think you should definitely at least um, put an end of a line clean out over here. It really needs it. you got to be careful what you're flushing down the toilets. No tampons, baby wipes, paper towels, etc. Things like that. Pipe, a little bit of rust builder. I think probably what would be a good idea is to install a clean out, run a cable with a blade through the line, and descale that rust off the pipe because it's just a little rusty. Not the worst I've ever seen, but it, it does have some rust there. So here we come out of the clean out of the roof vent over here and we'll stop the recording over here.